Hula Vlog Day 12. I'm going to start today with an Arizona iced tea in an all American sized can. So it just looks like a normal can, but wait until you see this. I'm going to take a little sip. Hmm, it's pretty good. Pretty good? Alright. Now, um, as you slowly pan up, you'll see the monstrosity of an American sized can. <laughs> it's the size of your head. It is as long as my entire head. <laughs> Amazing. All 680 mils of uh, iced tea here in this can, and it's not—it's not all that rare to see people walking around with a can this size. It is unbelievable. Does it taste good? It smells like Dr Pepper. No, no, it tastes like a tropical flavored iced tea. Have a oh, taste. Okay, I will have a taste. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Yummy. Mm. That's nice. It's not bad. It's not bad. We'll put it up to your head. Wow. <laughs> this is ridiculous. That is another example of America <laughs> for you. We love it. We love to tease you Americans, so <laughs> Enjoy, bye bye. So guys, I bought some new running shoes. Not that I run or anything, <laughs> but I, I like to walk, power walk, and I like to go to the gym sometimes. So, and I need new ones because every time I stepped in a puddle of my old ones, my feet would get soaked and I hated them. And I saw these ones in Sketches and they have memory foam. Seriously guys, if you don't know what memory foam is, where have you been? It is amazing. Anyway, do you think anyone's gonna miss me wearing these? Pretty bright. Yeah, pretty bright. But I am in love with them. I think they're awesome. So we are about to go for a power walk along Waikiki. And then we're going to Ruth's Chris for dinner because we made a booking this time. So we're able to get in. So that's pretty cool. And yeah. So we are standing outside of a really nice restaurant. Not sure which one it is. And this is the view. Look at that water. Crystal clear. And Diamond Head. And the other end of Waikiki. And there's a plane flying right there. Really nice today. Perfect skies. Looks so yummy. 
now we're just walking down the main avenue and there's the international marketplace it's really nice here Patrick's Day and we're not wearing green so we're feeling a bit out of it but I think we own green <laughs> ah cheesecake factory we haven't been to it yet Wait, One time we wanted to go. I don't. Know. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think we could work out what the wait was. It was just massive people in there, and a massive line coming out. So we didn't end up going in. What's it there? And this is a three-story Forever 21. I've already spent a good couple hours in there. And I've left him outside. <laughs> Very busy today. Forever 21, I love you. I overheard one of the ladies in there. One of the <coughs> store <coughs> people that they're opening a Forever 21 in Australia soon. But we might actually just go ask them and confirm that. So, yeah. Um, okay, so we asked the sales assistant in there and he said he wasn't sure. So there's been rumours for like the past two years. He thinks the one may be one opening in Sydney, but I'm not sure. So that would be really awesome. Hi guys, so we are about to go out to dinner to Bruce Chris. I thought I'd show you what I'm wearing. So this dress here, this is a Michael Kors dress. Yes, you heard correctly. I bought a Michael Kors dress, but you're not going to believe how much it cost me. So we went to that like factory outlet that I was telling you guys about, and there was a Michael Kors shop there. We went in just looking, didn't expect to get anything. And I saw this dress and I was like, ooh, that's pretty. Like the gold chain kind of caught my eye. And um, it was originally $140 and I got it for $40. What? Who does that? <laughs> so I tried it on because it's a small and I was like, yeah, this is not going to fit me because I'm usually a medium and everything. But because it's stretchy and, and nice, it fits me. So, I'm really happy with this. It's got the really nice gold detailing along here and then a knot at the waist so it forgives anything down here. And then I'm just wearing my Rebecca Minkoff Mini Mac and some random gold bracelets. Um, just some little silver studs because I didn't have any little gold studs to go with the gold so hopefully it doesn't clash too much. And then I just got my hair curled and sort of twisted back and up. And then just wearing those rosy gold flats, I mean rosy gold sandals that I always pretty much wear. And then on this hand is just a, um, a rose, rose gold ring. So now we're about to go because we have to walk there. And our um, booking is for 625 so it's... 621 at the moment and I don't have a coat so I'm gonna get pretty cold aren't I <laughs> oh well the things you do for fashion anyway we might or might not see you guys there because it's more of a flashy restaurant so yeah I don't know if I'll fuck or not in there we'll see hi guys so we are back in the unit now and I didn't film in um, Bruce Chris because it was really dark like we could barely see our food it was that dark <laughs> so I didn't film in there but it was really nice um, a lot more expensive than we were expecting but that's okay I mean it was good food very good service excellent service but yeah it was interesting we're trying to get around to all the restaurants that we didn't last time 
so Ruth Chris was on that list so yeah and uh, tomorrow we are renting a car and we're going up to the North Shore and then down to other shops probably um, going to Target which will be pretty fun because I've heard US Target is a lot better than uh, Target we have in here in Australia so that'll be heaps fun and I'm very excited for that so I will see you then bye Nana ya kabaloha, ikekalaya ehu.